three darts at the map. Toss in three wildly distinctive personalities, plus three great artsy craft projects, and you've got a craft show you just can't miss. We're hitting the road to check out Crafters Coast to Coast. Hey everyone, I'm Angela Martinez. Welcome to Crafters Coast to Coast. We have been traveling all over the United States, and it is incredible how many creative people we've been meeting. Good crafters always have an interesting take on things. You never know what they're going to come up with next, and the three crafters you're about to meet prove it. We start on the West Coast with a florist from San Diego. He manages to create a vase that's even more colorful than the flowers he puts into it. Hi, my name is Doug Hart, and I'm a floral designer here in sunny San Diego, California. And today, I'm going to show you how to paint this bowl. First, I want to make sure I don't have any fingerprints inside the bowl. So I'm going to take some glass cleaner, make sure I get it good and wet, and I'm going to clean it. If I leave fingerprints inside the bowl, that means the paint come off, and it's not going to hit the glass. Now I'm going to add water to the bowl. I don't want to add too much. Just enough that I can spray onto surface. Then I'm going to take lime green paint. And I shake this pan for about two minutes before I spray. Then I spray directly onto the surface of, of the water. And I'm going to get this kind of swirly pattern in here. And what I want to do is get it to adhere to the glass. Now I'm going to spray again. As you can see, the thing kind of moves around from underneath the water. And what I want to do is get a really cool pattern. After I've gotten the pattern around that I want to go, I'm going to dump the water out. And the water needs to be poured out very carefully because I don't want the paint to come out with it. Now, the next step is I'm going to dry the bowl. I'm going to speed up the process by using a hair dryer. I don't want to keep it on too long because I don't want to crack the glass. Now that I've finished drawing it, I'm going to go to my next step. And I'm going to add in my next color. First, I've got to add water back into the bowl. So I'm going in with my cobalt blue. Any cobalt will do. Now I'm going to spray directly the surface. And this time I'm going to cover more surface of the vase. And I'm actually going to spray and turn the vase at the same time. Here's where I start to see the really cool swoops and swirls and they take place. But you see, it's about layers. And different layers have different darknesses. What I want to do is get the paint to overlap each other in certain spots. And that way, I will have a darker color. And now, I spray and turn, spray and turn, spray and turn, spray and turn, spray and turn. Spray and turn. My biceps are starting to kill me. I'm just about finished with this layer. And what I want to do is turn it and pour. The reason I use the bucket with the newspaper is because the paint will stick to the newspaper but not ruin my bucket. So now what I'm going to do is go back and dry the bowl again. Doesn't look like much yet, but just wait till I get the next layer on. Now I'm going to use cyclamen. Cyclamen is a color named after the flower. It's very bright and vibrant. This one goes on pretty light. So I'm really going to make sure I get a lot of paint on there. This is why I do it outside, because the fumes from the paint are pretty bad. Now, I'm not limited to just these colors. I can get, if I wanted to get creative, I could use any color I want. Now, I have used colors that didn't work for me before. And when that happens, it's very easy to start over. You just scrape the paint off. I'm going to pour the hot pink water out. Now is where you really start to see the magic happen. Now another round of hair drying. I wonder if you can call the glass blowing. I want to make sure that it's totally dry before I go to the last step, and that's the gold. Now that I don't need this bucket of water anymore, I have a little rat dog named Bling Bling, and I want to make sure he doesn't get into this. So I'm going to just get rid of it. This is my last. I'm going to go with the 24 karat gold spray paint. 
Now I'm going to tilt the bowl and I'm going to spray directly onto the other layers that I've painted. This is where I'm going to see the color start to develop. Now I'm covering the inside of the bowl completely with the 24 karat gold and I want to make sure that I don't get any runs in it so it's got to be smooth. Now I'm very carefully getting the top lip here. Now that I have the bowl complete, you can see all the other colors that start to develop. I can display this in my home as an art piece, or if I wanted to, I could put fours in it. I almost like it better with the flowers. That way you can really enjoy the color and design of the paint.